the Function with Purpose podcast. All things health, wellness, fitness, and education through the physical therapy perspective. I am Dr. Amy Bullock, owner and founder of Fortress Physical Therapy. Fortress PT is here to serve the Charlotte metro area by highlighting the importance of how and why physical therapy should be a part of your health and wellness lifestyle. Here we go. Episode 5, Season 3 of the Function with Purpose podcast. Dr. Amy here. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully some first-time listeners, and if you are a first-time listener, please go back to Season 1, listen to all of it. Um, I appreciate the follow and the listen, and uh, hopefully keep filling uh, your brains and ears and Um, giving you guys opportunities to start thinking of uh, functioning with purpose, really, when it comes down to it. Hence the name of the podcast. Anywho, today's episode five on season three. Title, Physical Therapy is Totally Just More Than Bands and Table Exercises. Have you ever been to physical therapy in the past and you walk in the door, you check in, you get called back by the physical therapist assistant and you go straight to the treatment table, you get a hot pack, a moist, moist heating pack on your back because your back's hurting and then they might whip out this, uh, what we call in the PT world, which shouldn't be used anymore the ultrasound unit put a little bit of whipped cream on there um, as one of my professors used to say because it doesn't work anymore ultrasound that low back or that elbow pain that you came in with then after the ultrasound you get those uh, little electrical electrical pads put on your back to uh, ease the pain ease the discomfort um, and so on and so on and so on. Well, that's, that's for sure the old school thoughts, right? A lot of passive modalities, a lot of passively making the patient better. And that, that stuff, um, that, that's an old school thought. That is an old school approach, especially when it comes to ultrasound and, uh, the electrical stimulation is what we call that. Although I still use electrical stimulation, but differently, i.e. dry needling. Um, However, um, that is mediocre physical therapy. And then after you get your little uh, uh, passive modalities, you know, your little pet on the back, I like to say, you know, when you have your hot pack or ice pack and then um, you get your ultrasound and, and those electrical pads, then you get into your your little table exercises. Um, you know, maybe for the low back, you came in for low back pain and you might just do, um, you know, straight leg raises. You're laying on your back and you just lift your leg up in the air. Oh, yeah. And you're doing this by yourself without even legit super supervision um, coming from uh, yet alone the assistant or... Um, even the person at the front desk, because yeah, I used to work at a clinic where the front desk worker who would check patients in would actually come back and help patients do exercises. And then the physical therapist is in another room doing an evaluation, being a conveyor belt. So the old school thought coming into the clinic, getting a hot pack, moist pack, ice pack, and then some of the ultrasound with that little cream on top and then electrical pads and you're just chilling almost like you're at a you're at a spa or something and then oh my god here comes the exercises you lift your legs up in the air and then um you know you you might just do um you're you're laying on your back and your your knees are bent and you just wiggle from side to side you rotate each leg from side to side no no that is that is not Physical therapy. Physical therapy. The word physical is in front of it. Right? 
So this new approach or should have been approach or this constantly striving approach is yes. I will say coming from my point of view, I still do some mixture of applying quote unquote electricity or dry needling into the muscle or area that's in question in order to turn down that pain speaker to that area to get that area to relax because the research on that is tremendous. It's way more effective than slapping those pads that just go on the skin and reach superficial layers rather than deep layers to the actual area. And I do, I, I do some other aspects as well. Um, I'll do some joint mobilizations. Um, I'll do some body tampering. But, you know, when, when someone comes in with a bout of back pain that's acute, I, I might have to revert to those passive modalities. But by, by gosh, at the end of the session, I am sending that patient home with a specific exercise tailored to them these exercises, but like what exercise that is utilized after for that specific patient case. So that not every patient gets the same exercise, right? You have to listen to the patient. But I want you to think of these exercises, even PTs out there, if you're listening to this podcast, the exercises that we choose afterwards, after we do some of our hands-on work, should be transferable to building a strong foundation and optimizing movement patterns. Now, sometimes you might not start out with that at the beginning, at the first visit or two, because you got to control that pain speaker. You got to bring that down. And once that kind of mitigates, then you turn on the exercise component and start flipping your treatment sessions, right? But by all means, I, I have literally only three to four modalities in my clinic that I utilize to help mitigate pain, mitigate discomfort, and then a lot of education and a lot of backing things up or enhancing a core control, core stability that is transferable to optimizing human movement patterns, right? And by movement patterns, squat, bending over, picking something up, lunging, core movements, single arm, single leg movements, push, pull. Our body has to be able to do that daily. So, when you go into a physical therapy clinic, perhaps for a bout of low back pain, and you're pretty much laying on the table the whole time, getting quote unquote petted or massaged or uh, a moist heat pack or an ice pack to uh, make your back pain better, you're in the wrong place. Trust me. I used to work for a place like that. And it's, you, you're, you're not creating optimal progression for that patient, right? So that, that will not progress with purpose, function with purpose into your real life pursuits. So as a physical therapist, yeah, when, when we were fresh out of school, that was the old school of thought is the, the moist heat pack, the ice pack, maybe a little bit of stretching of the hamstrings or the quad muscles, the thigh muscles. And then maybe you go sit on the recumbent bike for 10 minutes. That's it. That was physical therapy. Are you kidding me? To this present day, no one, no physical therapist should be practicing like that. And if they are, Shame on them, shame on them, and shame on you for continuing to see that therapist. So physical therapy is more than just bands. It's more than just passive modalities, the whole 60 minutes that you're there. It's more than just table exercises. It's getting up and moving and understanding 
movement patterns that the body has to constantly go through on a daily basis. Squatting, stooping, bending, push, pull, carrying heavy objects. So if you do find yourself as a patient within a physical therapy clinic and you're on that treatment table for the whole hour, then, then you're, you're probably in the wrong place, right? Because I guarantee you, as that patient, most likely you probably don't really have, a lot of us do have a lot of desk jobs, right? You're going to go back to your desk job because your physical therapy was at 11 a.m., then you're done by noon, then you go sit down, eat lunch, then you go sit at your desk, and, and that's it. Do you even exercise after that? Do you train after that? Do you train your movement patterns? Did your physical therapist help dig into that a little bit more? Did they educate you on some other things that you need to do in the other 23 hours of your day? But that's what I'm talking about. Physical therapy is digging in more to the patient's lifestyle so that they can gain control of their life back and function with purpose. So I hope this uh, episode gives you a little bit of insight and some awareness. If this kind of sounds like you, 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 you need to find a different physical therapist or physical therapy clinic. Because this, this is not optimal. This is not true physical therapy. And if you're in the South Charlotte area, definitely hit me up. Drop your, drop your comment below. Send me a direct message on Instagram. I'm very active on there. At Fortress Physical Therapy is my handle name. And get after it. Start functioning with purpose. On purpose. That's a wrap for today's episode, Function With Purpose podcast. For more information on this episode, please check out the show notes within your podcast app. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, or drop your comments and questions below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thanks for the listen. Pursuit, precision, purpose.